Hi again. Um, today I'd like to talk a little bit about laziness. Um, you might have managed to establish a routine for language learning during the last weeks, or maybe you have already had some routines um, before. Uh, and usually we are more or less successful with these things. And sometimes we just have these days where we're like, we would prefer to sit on the sofa all day and watch Netflix instead of uh, opening a grammar book or speaking a foreign language to somebody. Um, how can you deal with that? Well, I think to a certain degree, of course, we, we need to accept that not every day is perfect and sometimes it just doesn't make sense and sometimes we have a headache and we are tired and uh, okay, tomorrow is going to be another day. But be also a little bit honest to yourself if you have seven days a week where you find an excuse for learning a language then hmm, there might be something wrong with uh, with the approach that you're having so two tips maybe mm, one of them is i think it's very important to find the right time of the day for you to work on your language skills some people prefer to do it in the morning right after they wake up because that's when they have energy uh, some people prefer to do in the evening, the last thing before they go to sleep. Others say in the lunch break or when they come home from the job or whatever. So that's very individual. If you find that at the time where that you have put aside for language learning, you're always a bit annoyed or stressed or tired, um, then maybe experiment with this a little bit. Uh, try to do it at other times of the day. The second thing is make it easy for you not to skip a routine. For example, I invite you to do the pronunciation training in front of the mirror when you're brushing your teeth. You can put a, a note like a post-it sticker on the mirror in your bathroom. Then you're like, yeah, okay, it's just a minute or just two minutes. So even if you're tired, you're probably going to do something for this very short amount of time. Or put, uh, if you if, if, if your focus is on studying grammar for the moment, uh, put the grammar book on your laptop. So before you open your laptop, you have to put the grammar book aside and then you're like, yeah, okay, let's open it and have a look into, in, into it. So find these tiny little things that make it a bit easier for you. If you put the grammar book deep into your uh, shelves, uh, maybe behind the interesting comic books, then you're never going to open it. So find these little tricks um, that um, could help you making language learning a little bit easier and getting over this activation barrier every day. Mm, I'd like to hear from you. What does your experience, what uh, has helped you to stick to routines? Please share it in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.